Hey guys, I'm Sir John, celebrity makeup artist for L'Oreal Paris. And today on Brie, we're gonna give her the omnipresent, super popular, no makeup makeup look. We're gonna go for a really glowing complexion on Brie. When you're looking for foundation and you wanna choose the perfect color, well, she has a beautiful olive complexion. So if you're olive or if you're very fair, what you wanna do is match your chin. This is sort of synonymous with what your complexion is for the rest of your body. If you happen to be African-American, Latina, or Pakistani or Indian, you want to start to look for colors that match your hairline. A good thing about this foundation is that you don't have to use a lot, and this looks a lot more realistic. This is what I use on Beyonce or clients like Carly Kloss or Khloe Kardashian. We just go in for where we need more coverage and where we don't, we sort of leave bare. After you're done with complexion, we're going to go right into brows. So we'd like to start by brushing the brows up. When you brush the brows up, you get a sense of where they need to go and how much product you should apply. And you wanna just give short hair-like strokes. You don't want a really dense, saturated brow. You want them to look like hair. Brows are just as much of a statement as a red lip or a smoky eye. It adds punctuation. Symmetry is key. So your brows should be sisters. They don't have to be twins, but they should be related. After you deposit a bit of color into your eyebrows, what we wanna do is take a bit of hairspray and brush up your brows and make sure that they stay in place. So I want to make sure she looks like she just left Soul Cycle or a run. So I'm giving her a little bit of a cream highlighter right on the high planes of her cheekbones. What we want to do now is one of the coolest things I like to do. Glossy, luminous eyes are very charming to look at. They reflect the light really nicely. Take a little bit of cream or a balm and go right on the ball of the eyes. You don't want to go all the way up. And this is the look that we use for Beyonce in Ghost, or recently in the Formation video. If you're going to do this trick, you need to make sure that you're using waterproof mascara though. To finish off the look that we have on Brie, I'm going to use an all-purpose color on the cheeks and the lips. It's going to bring a little bit of freshness and a charming sort of healthiness to her complexion. We're done, guys. For the latest stories, be sure to visit E! Online and download the E! Online app. I actually had a question about the packages. Speaking of packages, yes. You're still cute. Ago. You're still cute. It's a lot of makeup. Yeah. Is Taylor Swift giving away her awards to her squad? This is so true.